Cool. All right, feel free to uh, speak whenever. Um, I'll explain it after, after we start. Alright, ready? Hold up. Pay attention. Go. Alright. Alright. And that is the setup for the new game plus. And off we go. Oh, I already did that. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm going to just do Orient Express. Uh, Stump, can you maybe help explain um, both the new game plus setup and the... Uh, the sound effects being off. All right. Yeah. Uh, when Teddy exited the demo level, you may have noticed that a uh, blue cloud background cutscene started to happen. Uh, there are many of those as you go through the game, and they don't play if sound effects are turned are fully muted. So that's why that's done and what the uh, what the new game plus setup accomplished was getting to into the game with all of the all five of the powers already collected that'll allow nice yeah just barely skipped it he's going to levels in this order is that he's waiting to collect those masks so they can do them in the actual running levels uh yeah, yeah. unlike in crash 2 third mask form is actually very good to have in crash 3 and does make you faster so you want it wherever you can have it so mask routing is very important and thus level order is too and also, I believe, when you start a time trial, which he's going to have to do in this run to get the relics, you lose all your masks when you start it. Right, although many of the time trials have more masks in them than the regular le levels would, so that yeah. sort of helps to make up for that slightly when you're going into the next warp room after the time trials. To, uh... To put it simply, I'm doing levels um, in an order such that I can, in some places, uh, get rid of my masks in order to save time. In some places, get third mask form to um, go faster in walking levels. Like right there, I just mask abused. Um, and the relics take away your masks. As do only a few vehicle levels. But other than that, you keep your masks throughout the levels that you visit. And I'm just routing. The, the route I'm doing is in accordance to maximizing the invincibilities and the masks abuse I get. That was not a very good level 2. But... Basically, for the first couple of levels, they're really difficult to optimize, and I just, I, I really don't want any big time loss. Yep. So for 105%, he has to get at least a gold relic. Yeah, there are three tiers of relics. Uh, sapphire, gold, and platinum for, uh, 
in increasing order of how good they are. And to get the... Uh, well... There's an extra gem that spawns in the warp room after you have gotten all 30 gold relics. But there is no similar one for all platinums, so all, all golds is what 105% needs. So how many dev time beatens are we going to see? That was actually pretty okay. Did you say how many dev times are we going to beat? Yeah. Yep. Um, well, because I'm going for uh, RTA best time and not time trial best time, I'm going to be skipping some of the time crates and not going to and not optimizing clock grabs, so I'm not going to be beating some of the dev times. A few of them I will, though. Actually, the dev time for that one is 53. Hmm. Yeah. I can also am free to, uh, I have every single gold relic time to the minute and the second memorized, to the, to the decimal memorized only for some levels. And so as a result, I can figure out in any given situation, pretty much, you know, how I'm doing, if I'm going to get the gold relic, if I need to reset, etc. I also put the relic times in my splits, too, which is handy. RTA ideally will be getting uh, just the right number of time boxes to get to the gold time because many time boxes will be out of the way and cost some time to get. Oh, I went for the skip again, but I didn't get it. So yeah, now I have the mask, and I can just go into level 1 and just do that level. So, uh, do you want me to make sound effects noises in replacement of the sound effects that I turned off? Spin. Spin. Slide. Spin. Slide. 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 Udamaga. Boom, 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 boom. Break. And we leave that one for after the bonus, so yeah. that we have the full duration of it afterwards. Yeah. If uh, I would recommend that people who have uh mental health issues not go to mental health hospitals and instead go to the level one bonus due to the very difficult nature of actually dying in that level yep here's the first time Pew, we're ribbit we're, uh, we're seeing a large amount ribbit. of neutral slide jumping yeah yeah oh that's a goat what is it? Goat's bad, I think. Due to the addition of momentum effects to Crash 3, the fastest mo uh, ground movement techniques uh, switched from neutral slide spinning to neutral slide jumping. Yep. So here's a level where you'll be seeing more of Roar! Time. Roar! I'm a dinosaur! Roar! 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 Ow, hot lava from dinosaur feet! Roar! 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 Yeah, I'm a pterodactyl! Roar! 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 Uh, yeah, I'm a pterodactyl! Yeah, I'm a pterodactyl too! Hey, me too! 
in the dinosaur chase sections, it is still necessary to break the checkpoints because the dinosaur will not break them for you. All the other boxes, though, you don't have to worry about. So right now I want to guess I'm maybe 25 seconds behind or 30 seconds behind what my normal 105 PB is. Maybe 20 seconds? I don't know. My movement just hasn't been great so far. Oh, that mid-air bounce. It wasn't optimal, but like I at least demonstrate an area where I have double jump where I normally don't have it. Roar, roar, roar. Psh, grass noises. Hey, I'm a pterodactyl. Roar, roar, explosion, explosion, explosion. That's a cool trick you can do. You can grab the gem and enter the warp portal. I'm not sure if you knew about that, but you can just enter the warp portal, and as you're entering it, when the gem pops up, you automatically collect it. So it looks very scary, but it's pretty safe. Yes, we're playing Wave Race 64. Um, except this time we're breaking boxes instead of going left and right around certain things. And there's waves and stuff. Except there's uh there's no there's no Fanta billboards. That was a bit awkward. Yeah, you also may be wondering why I'm not going out of the out of bounds and uh, going straight to the warp room or the warp portal. The thing is you actually can't invisible walls. No. Yeah, as you can see there, sometimes the waves... Damn! line up just right to put you over or under boxes in the air from the ramps. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, it's me, Joe. We have a donation from Devil Rider of five dollars. It says Joe needs to chant this. Pop is in the house. 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 Use all two fifty five of those characters. And don't worry if sound doesn't return to uh to this because this level is actually doesn't have any music if you skip the cutscene fast enough. Yeah, this is a tiny fight. It's yeah. <laughs> uh, well, for that, for those phases, <laughs> but uh, yeah. oh hey, I don't even need the, to spare the jumping phases uh, in between. And when you're in the far left corner there, the lions do not hit you. They kept this in NST, but the spectators then throw cheese at you. Oh, I didn't know that. And I don't collect the power-up because I already collected it through the new game plus. Super body slam of slowness. 
One of the big things about this run is there's a lot of these time trials that if you mess up, you can just lose so much time. And there's many mini optimizations you can make and such. But really, when you look at your splits at the end of a run, what it usually comes down to is those levels that you just lose so much time to. And it's very hard to optimize or get an optimal run. Yeah. Is sound back to the uh, thing? I don't hear any sound from the game. There we go. We'll save the level 4 relic for later, because we're going to do something really difficult with that soon. Yeah, level 4 has a red gem path, which has a gem on it, so we need to come back with the red gem for it. But with good enough movement, you can do the gem path and get the gold relic. So we'll be doing that later. Since this is New Game Plus, it's worth specifically calling out that uh, neutral slide jumping is faster than the shoes. Yes. Of course, I could tape down the running shoes button. That might make me go a little faster. Places like that with lots of high box arrangements are where their mass form really shows its value. Oh, no frog nitro jump. Yeah. Sometimes the frog kills itself on the nitro there. And here I messed up a little bit on the uh, first box formation with the uh, six bouncy crates because I'm a little bit used to playing the first you know, the first half of the game without the tornado spin.
that's this one. Yeah, just like in Crash 2, Dark Mask Worm really speeds you up on the hanging sections here. That was a weird way to do it. Bonus boxes remain even after like that. respawning at a checkpoint, so that you can only do it once uh, per visit to the level. <sighs> I expected you to go around that box pillar. It was interesting to see the smoke continue to be there after the respawn. Oh yeah. See the yellow gem through the buildings there. Yeah, you, doing that, you land on the platform that takes you back over there, and then special movement on that causes the camera to move onto the <laughs> alternate entrance track because you need to get the yellow gem onto the screen to actually collect it. Otherwise, it doesn't consider you, you to have touched it. It is possible to do that without the Death Tornado spin, but it's mm -hmm. e extremely difficult. It's not that difficult.
added in this level is uh, high boxes that you actually have to do a running jump to get to. Pitch, no. Not all of the boxes broke. Yeah, yeah, there is a puddle skip in this level also. But, well, we can't do that when we need the gem. I almost got it. It's yeah. whatever. Hopefully we'll see it in the time trial. this were not New Game Plus, then that jump over to the Yellow Gem mm -hmm. is something that we might have done in the time trial. Yeah, and I'm also going to do something kind of special here. If I get it, it's round of applause worthy, but it's pretty dumb that I'm going for it. Do you know what it is? Stump, do you know? Uh, I think so. If it's what I'm thinking of, we would have needed the crystal first, though. Gym route early. Oh. Yeah. Only possible in New Game Plus. Ooh. Sniping the third mass. Mm hmm. Frame perfect trick, by the way. Oh no, I messed it up. That was not what I was supposed to do. The end of the purple gem route. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Joe. We have another donation from Zero Blade Edge. Uh, he donated $5. He says, hey my friends, missing you guys already. 
Good luck to all the runners that have runs left. Everything is fine. As I was driving home, I saw a pun that everyone would love. Drive excellent as somebody at home needs you. Love and miss you all. So I'm going to be stuck on this for I don't know how long. Oh, nice. all right. Problem is, I need to get back too. Yep, there are boxes right behind the entrance door. So this is a backtrack all the way through the jump path. Door that oh, maybe didn't I don't load. need to. I forgot about that. I'm overall not saving time because of all this silliness here. Hey, pity checkpoint. Mm-hmm. It's one of the easiest gold relics in the game, by the way.
I'll do the boxes on the relic trip. kind of tricky, but once you get used to it, it's kind of easy. Thanks to the glitch high jump. Uh, well, actually, since this is New Game Plus, we don't, e we don't even need that but this fight becomes pretty much non-existent. Can I get a time check? Ooh. Hey guys, it's me, Joe. We have a $5 donation from Devil Rider, who says, oh my gosh. I'm a mother pheasant plucker. I pluck mother pheasants. I'm the most pleasant mother pheasant plucker to ever pluck a mother pheasant. Actually, I'm not the pheasant plucker. I'm the pheasant plucker's son, but I'll stay and pluck the pheasants. I did not curse. Oh my gosh. Almost trying to get us banned from stream.me. Can I get another time check? Okay. We're about five minutes behind PB? Or what would be PB? Oh, we're underestimate. I'm just behind what my PB would be.
I broke that one. I saw it break. Nice nitro jumps. It's pretty big. It's not too hard. Okay. Did you get another donation? me again, Joe. I have another donation from Devil Rider for five dollars. Oh my god. Mrs. Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt. Not a punt cut square, just a square cut punt. It's round in the stern and blunt in the front. Mrs. Puggy Wuggy has a square cut punt. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now that we're into the uh, time trial of this level, I'm going to mention that sometimes it can crash on loading. Yeah, I've had a crash run loading on a PS2. Oh, that's <laughs> All right, so we got that done. I really don't know what there's much to say. I feel kind of exhausted on commentary. So if you want to fill in some of the gaps, I guess, in spaces. Damn it. Oops, I said damn it. Oops, I said it again. Sorry. I didn't mean to say that on stream. Whoops. <laughs> I like how I just repeated it. Like, oops, I said word as I say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, what? a thing you can do. I want to do it. I'm stubborn. Wait, who's drunk? Oh, nobody's drunk? Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Am I invited? Yay.
having body slam boxes fall into your head is one way to get around the requirement to body slam them. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Actually, what? I don't know. What? Oh, I meant to press square. Oops. <laughs> Here we're going to go for a time trial slash colored gem combo. Like we would have in Hang 'em High were this not New Game Plus. Very nice. Mm -hmm. What was the time to beat there? A 104.10. start getting into the secret levels. Hey, you don't know I'm getting into the secret level. I'm kidding, I am going to the secret level. <laughs> yeah. Four of the extra 5% come from the items that are in the secret levels, both of which are entered through levels in this warp room. Hmm. Each of the two has a gem and a relic. Yeah, it would be terrible if we hit that sign. It would slow us down a lot. Mm -hmm. And then the other traffic wouldn't have any warning of the aliens. This is hot cocoa. Uh, this is somewhat different from the other jet sea levels in that it's more of an open level. <laughs> the exit's right, uh, pretty much right next. Joe, to are you the sniffing sharpies entrance. over there? What? I th I don't think you should sniff those snar those sharpies. It's bad for you.
was saying, the exit to this level is normally sealed behind a wall of nitros, and uh, we hit the green switch to blow them up. So now we can exit the level whenever we, uh, we want to, but we want to get both the... Uh, we, we still want to get all of the boxes for the gem, and hopefully all of wow. the, uh, do that in enough time to still get the gold relic. Come on. If not, we can restart trial and not have to enter the level again. Come on. Devs also messed up the relic time on this level. Yeah, the secret level's relic times in the NTSC in, in the NTSC version are inherited from the level that you enter them from, and are thus uh, much easier than they were intended to be. Mm -hmm. They fixed this one, pal. This is NTSC. the NTSC version that's fastest. I believe neutral slide jumping does not work on PAL. Um, it does. It's just slower than slide spinning. Only marginally. we're not bothering with boxes in uh, this pass through of this level. That is because we get them in the time trial because every single one of them is a time box and you already need a large amount of them to get the gold relic. In fact, it's every single box one. It's is a very tight relic. Every Probably single box is a tight is a uh, time box. In the time trial in this level.
Ho ho! Ho ho! Other cars have very heavy knockback if you come in contact with them. What's the death time? It's a one fifteen. Dynamite. This level has a very weird route because it not only has a gem path that has boxes on it, bypassing part of the main level that also has boxes on it, but it also has a secret exit. Yep. Yes. Smiley donated two dollars. Shout out to Pork. Thank you very much. Just let us know what you want that uh, donation to go towards. Thank you. I thought I was stuck there for a second. Shoutouts to the definitely not Yoshi that we were riding on. <laughs> you want to continue making sound effects to make up for the lack of sound effects? Watch this, the dino's gonna come. Oh, he didn't come out? It normally comes out when I do that. Hey, okay, here's where the level route gets weird. I need to stock checkpoints properly so that I can collect the gem in this level and then die and respawn close to the secret exit. Yeah. Sure. Hey guys, it's me again, the Indiana Joe. We have another donation from Devil Rider of five dollars. It says Joe has had enough. Stop right there! It is seen that someone has donated to specifically counter a donation from Devil Rider. Because we have specifically had a donation to counter Devil Rider's uh, donation message, we will now read that one instead. <laughs> Radman donated five dollars and one cent, a counter donation to make Joe not say a possible swear on stream. Quit trying to get us banned, Devil Rider. Ooh, gotcha today. Just so you don't feel too bad, Devil, I'm going to put that $5 one to naming the thief in Final Fantasy 1, Devil. Yeah, the checkpoint we just got is the last one in the level, and that's the one that we got last for a reason.
we did all of that so that we can get the box gem that's right there and then die to respawn at the checkpoint that is in the gem path. And that is for the secret exit. Oh, looks like another death. Or not. For some reason, the Wumpa Fruit doesn't go away in time trial mode. Dinosaur is capable of communicating with Yoshis. things of coral can only be broken by those uh, bullets from what are those things anyway um i guess the pokemon looks like a pokemon huh There's a pile of boxes to the right of those, but once you see the exclamation point fly leftward from the exclamation point box, that's yeah. the rightmost box in that pile. Risky? You know that uh, nice. you know that you've broken everything.
Yeah, have, having Death Tornado spin here completely breaks this fight. What? Other than the movement across the gap to the other side after each cycle of attacks, this fight's pretty much an auto-scrawler. I've been messing this fight up a lot lately, I don't know why. of the particles, the directions of the waves, and, uh, well, those are the things that are going to be exactly the same every time through the fight, only the platform arrangement differs. I want to learn the uh, ledge thing. There are some mask boxes here that only actually spawn if you don't already have two masks. Mm -hmm. So that worked out except for the uh, interruption in movement from that hit. getting through those nitros mm -hmm. and a platinum yep That input allowed Q 
keeping the dinosaur for a little bit more of the level than usual. Time check. Not bad. Yep. Hour Damn. And yeah. Yeah, this level is. As you can probably imagine, all about cycles, but getting third mask worm causes the water to stay down. So losing two masks to that death is highly unfortunate. you had a mask and you had spun, would the uh, boost yeah, from the damage have saved you? Yeah. Now, having a chain reaction like that happen at the end of a bonus has some consequences that I will mention after the next checkpoint. had those deaths been before the checkpoint would have been that the uh, boxes in the bonus that were after uh, that broke such as from being chain re such as chain reaction exploding after the hitting the platform don't have the special bonus treatment and would have come back with no way to get to them it would have been necessary to exit and re-enter the level had that death happened before the next checkpoint after the bonus This time trial will be another mm -hmm. case of uh, doing a side path for a colored gem and also still getting the gold relic. This one is not anywhere near as tight as the one in high time is though.
Just the whole time. More weight brace. Oh, come on. Try to turn a bit too early. Oh, yeah, these island ones. <sighs> if you think it's boring now, wait for the time trial. Mm -hmm. No. Right, now let's do that again.
So that's the last of those jet ski levels, I assume. No, there's still one more. Doing good. Yeah, I can fetch you something from the back if you need it. Yeah, you can get it, Dr. Pepper. Cool. Intentional. All right. Hey, how's it going? squeeze between the TNT and the body slam box there. With an extra mask it would have been possible to just body slam the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Although you would then have wanted another mask to uh, get iframes off of the oh. coffin. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you see For, that? Yeah. That would not have been good. Anyway, an extra mask would have allowed getting iframes mm. off of the coffin enemy, which would have forced the door to remain open. Mm -hmm. And this level is Bye Bye Blimps, which is exactly what the name implies. Bye Bye. Yeah, there are seven blimps. Shoot them down. At some point, shoot down all the boxes so you get the gem. That's all there is to it. All well, plus the time trial. Barrel rolls make you uh, invincible to the... Uh... Yep, the bullets will not hit you when you're barrel rolling. This becomes particularly useful in the next airplane level. Or they deal like four times the damage. Yes, there are a lot more bullets. They do a lot more damage. And then in the third airplane level, eh, the bullets are gone, but uh, the All barrel right, so has other uses that we will uh, that we will see in that level. It just slightly speeds it up to uh, shoot that blimp a couple times, but not destroy it. You don't want to destroy it because then you lose control. And you go to the warp. Okay. I just thought of something. So like there there's something in this level the uh, the clock. If you uh bust it bust it basically the same frame it becomes bustable. Um you won't enter time trial mode and the clock just disappears and you're kind of screwed. I never knew that. I hadn't seen that happen before. Yeah. Something uh I uh, something with uh, another 
All right, 3683, and, and that beats nice. the dev time. Awesome. By like three seconds. Very nice. But the thing about the clock reminded me of another sort of frame perfect negative effect that I uh, have had happened to me once. Was it the backward slide? No, it's uh, it's getting a mask on the same frame that you die. Oh yeah. Even when you already do have a mask, mm -hmm. and thus you die with two masks. <laughs> Oh, I almost hit that sarcophagus. Now, taking that hit kept the door open, though, so it wasn't all bad. So this will be another instance of uh, combining the time trial with a side path. This combination is not particularly difficult. <laughs> nice delayed time box. <laughs> Never thought of the possibility of that happening in uh, this level. How much room is there on that time? You have lots of room. That's like 20 seconds. Yeah, that... Uh, <coughs> that combined gold relic slash side path gem is effectively free. And here we are going time to check. see... Cool. The hidden warp room. These entrances are unlocked. Uh, each, uh, e every five relics unlocks one of the entrances. And uh, sounds about right. But after, well, number twenty-seven and twenty-nine are alternate entrances to levels that we already have access yeah. to. Everybody, put your I night vision goggles on. But the other two. Uh, 26 and 28 are entirely new levels that we haven't seen before, uh, and they thus have their own relics, and those will get us to 20 to unlock uh, entrance number 29, and I'll say more about that when we go into that. Mm -hmm. But this is Area 51, It with a question mark, yes, Area 51. It has two gems and a relic. One of the gems is for winning the race, in place of the crystal that normally would uh, be there. And hopefully, well, the other one is for all the boxes, as usual. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get all three of those in uh, one shot. Yeah, the darkness does make that a little bit tricky to do. Full skip. Oh no! Ooh. This yeah, is recoverable. That prob yeah, will you still one cycle though? Yeah. Uh, in our level in the fifth warp room, we'll be seeing a lot more of those pit skips. Yeah, see, it's still doable. Will you still have gold, though? Yeah, gold is in 149. Oh, nice. And there is Area 51 one cycle. I believe.
believe the next one we'll be doing is your level. Mm hmm. Ski crazed. This one only has a box gem and a relic. I have never had that happen before. Oh my goodness. Oh, add one to the that's never happened before counter. <laughs> yep. All right, we're about eight seconds behind here. One that's of the, okay. the things about this level is that it has a very large number of time boxes. Mm -hmm. To the point that um, after the next few turns, we'll hit a group of a three, a two, and a two. And ideally, the clock will never move after that again. I broke it. You saw it break, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah. In this case, hopefully we did break it because uh, we need to break all the boxes for the box mm -hmm. jump. <laughs> and here we go. 3960. Those ramps with two boxes to, uh, beside each other eh, can be a little tricky. <laughs> Also, having the wrong lineup Ooh. with passing waves could result in not hitting boxes above the ramps. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Ready for a school strat? Oh. Interesting. Well, you're supposed to grab that box and do it, but. Oh, the timer uh, resumed for a frame. Mm -hmm. And then for a little bit more. <sighs> but we almost had the timer stopped all the way since that group of seven. So now that we have 20 relics, we'll go into entrance number 29, which is an alternate entrance to level 19, Future Frenzy. The reason that we go into this alternate entrance here is that there are boxes on it, and there is no way to get to this area of the level from the main part of the level, so we need to do this in order to get the box gem. There's also a gem here. And we never go into entrance number 27, which is an alternate entrance to Hang'em High, because the only purpose that serves is to get us to the yellow gem, which we already have gotten by other means. So now that we're at the end of uh, the alternate entrance path, we now need to backtrack through the uh, through the first half of the main part of the level. And uh, Death Tornado spinning slightly expands Crash's hitbox to be able to get to both of those boxes that are underneath there without having to slide under there and crawl the rest of the way, which would be really slow. Ooh. 
And those are the first boxes on the level, so now we can go forward. screens back there you can watch it on. Alright, now we're past where we re-entered the level, so now that checkpoint's a nice thing. And now we have the remaining part of the level. Time check. Okay, so I've actually, that was a really good warp for in general, aside from Tomb Waiter. Alright, this is the engine fight, the one boss fight in here that you do as Coco. And there are two phases to it. Each of them engine uh, has a certain number of targets, and you need to hit each of them until they are gone. Alright, let's see if I can get the double hit.
Did I make that look easy? <laughs> Did it look like I was going to die about five times? <laughs> how are how are you on the time for that given that you missed third mask form? Uh oh five seconds off. Uh twenty three first. <clears throat> This is Flaming Passion, the uh, last of the uh, the Arabian themed levels, and here we're going to see what I believe. And mask is, abuse was intentional, by the way. Here we're going to see what I believe is the only usage of the bazooka in this run, right there. Um. I use it to hit the clock in level 4 because I'm a wuss. Yep, that box is the only box between where you enter the this death route and where you exit it. So we snipe it with the bazooka to not have to go deal with it. And thus we get the green gem. It's time for nitro jumping! Yay! Yep, who there, likes nitro jumping? Yeah, there are a lot of nitros in this uh, in this bonus, and no nitro switch in the level. So we gotta handle these nitros in here. Oh well, I guess that's also some usage of bazooka. at the end there, but whatever. That was a really good level overall, though. Yep. Flying carpets? Yeah, the wind up animation of a uh, body slam can clip you upward through them. That's what was going on there.
to skip that. There's a backtrack that happens in this level. This green gem path is well has an exit that's going to put us back in the first phase of this level. But after we've hit an exclamation point box, that's going to fill in some boxes that were there. So that's the backtrack that uh, Teddy was referring to. Two of these boxes were filled in by the exclamation point box Teddy just got. The other two were filled in by the uh, one at the end of the green gem path. Time for more nitro jumping. There we go. Whew. Now this is a notable time trial due to it having not one, but two opportunities to get third mask form. Hopefully we'll get both.
Here you can see the effect of third mass form in keeping the doors open. Yep, that is the one place in the original three crashes that there is a stack of three mask boxes. There's another, uh, a stack of three mask boxes also exists in Wrath of Cortex, also in level 25, but that's Wrath of Cortex. there to keep the doors open. Here we have yet another instance of Time I need combining to be a side path with a one thirty four eighty six. It is very difficult. One thirty four eighty six. The special feature of the gem path in this level is that it requires all five gems. Every so often there will be a platform that requires the next one. Mm -hmm. Looking good, good so far. The real key here is making it past this door. Nice. Alright, through the blue path onto the green one, where there are lots of spears and nitros. Using one of those nitros to keep the door open into the purple path. All moving and falling platforms with some spears mixed in. Onto the yellow. 3486. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, the ah. Seven going into there. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Through the door. Nitroing that door still open again. And 
we're through that onto the red path. Oh, this is gonna be close. Yes! Oh my god. What was the time to be? 134.86. Oh, wow. Yep. Four more frames, and that would not have made it. Mm -hmm. Can I get a time check? Okay. Alright, this is the last motorcycle race level. Mm -hmm. This is Orange Asphalt. We are going to be seeing a lot of those pit skips that we saw in the other levels, but more of them. used to being this far behind the cars. Mm. No, I just prefer to do it in the race because the relic time is pretty easy on this level. So I don't need to grab any time boxes, therefore it makes more sense to do the relic, to do the box gem outside the, uh, outside the relic, because that gives me two chances as opposed to one. Oh. Yeah, with the right alignment, it's possible to gap skip all three of those.
time check? Okay. Oh, that gives us 25 crystals, so Cortex has been unlocked. But we do not quite have all of the other items so for this to be 105%. So... Hi Cortex. Bye Cortex. This is probably subbing 220. Sometimes coming into contact with one of the planes can knock you in a weird direction like that. Up to twenty. Time check. What's the dev time of that level? I didn't beat it. It's like 125. I'm still close. finished all the main warp rooms now. Except we haven't done warp 4. Oh, right. Or level 4. So, 25 relics unlocks this level. Rings of Power. Hopefully we'll be one cycling this one. It has a box gem, a wooden the race gem, and a relic. Race is super easy. thing about the boxes in this level is that some of them are nitros. Although barrel rolling will protect you from nitro explosions. Also barrel rolling through the rings will boost you quite a lot.
I believe all we have left now is the Red Path Gem and the Relic of Boneyard. And that Time will... check. I'm sorry, I'm so close to the end. I just. And getting these will give us 104 percent. And will also get us the conditions for the 105th percent. Here goes the gem path. Now this one's tight. If this weren't time trial mode, then those steel crates, the one that you saw there, plus another one that's coming up, would be checkpoints. Sometimes the game can con consider you to be in the air for input purposes when you're headed down a slope. And, well, like in Crash 2, it's the same button for sliding and body slamming. Except that with the super body slam in Crash 3, body slamming wastes more time than it does in uh, Crash 2. There's our final gold relic. So now that we have 30 gold relics, we can get the extra time warp room check. gem for the 105th percent. 222 is going to be the time. And we get treated to a fireworks show for those. It'll be a minute or so. Yeah, this fight, yeah, it's an auto scroller. Uh, Aku Aku and Uka Uka are feuding in different ways in each of the three phases. You have to avoid them. Uh, meanwhile, Cortex fires three particles at you, then throws those mines out and drops the shield to become vulnerable, and you hit him down into the pit. Repeat twice, and you're finished. Yep.
This is probably the most interesting of the three Cortex fights in the original three Crash games. As we just saw, there's pretty much nothing to the Cortex fight in Crash 2, and yeah, yeah, there is more to the Cortex fight in Crash 1, but not like this. on time. Yep. Time. Alright. 2.22.27. Woo! 